Hey gang, Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com. This is Livestream Stars. We're back after a couple of weeks off. We have a great guest tonight, uh, Rudy J. Ellis from Switchboard Live, Joycaster. Uh, we'll bring him on in just a second. Livestream Stars, of course, is the show where we feature talented broadcasters and CEOs uh, who deliver high-quality content across live stream platforms. And Livestream Stars is brought to you by Livestream Universe. Check it out, LivestreamUniverse.com. And we have a brand-new resources page if you're looking for advice about equipment and products and things related to live streaming. Uh, check it out, LivestreamUniverse.com slash resources. And now let's welcome in our guest tonight is Rudy uh, J. Ellis, and he is from switchboard live he's a tech enthusiast live streaming aficionado and the co-founder and ceo of switchboard live which is a cloud computing company that helps creators attract new viewers convert to subscribers and extend the reach across video sharing platforms uh switchboard live is backed by tech stars and it helps you simplify the workflow of sending live streaming content to over 30 plus destinations simultaneously. Of course, you can send to popular channels such as YouTube, Facebook Live, Periscope, Twitch, Ustream, YouNow, Apple TV, and more. Uh, it has a self serving user dashboard, and Rudy's Switchboard Live platform has been used to amplify viewer reach for multiple events from various businesses such as EA, Alienware, Disney Interactive, Monster Energy. And Conan O'Brien, and he joins us from the NAB show, the National Association of Broadcasters big event. Uh, that's out in Vegas, right? Are you out in Vegas? I am. I am ah. out in Vegas. So, well, thanks for uh, taking a little time and and joining us. You could be at the casinos. You could be out having fun <laughs> after the the uh, show. So l let's start there. First of all, welcome. It's great to have a chance to uh, to to talk with you. And how are things going out there at 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 NAB? What is the the big buzz going on uh, at the conference? Ah, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, actually, I I got in this morning. So I um I had an early morning flight. Um, show floor opened, I think nine or ten o'clock, and I you know from there. So, so um a lot four K right. I mean, the amount of time or it's four K four K four K. That's that's probably what I, I just heard the most is walking through. So it's interesting to see all the companies and and their products. You know, being able to support that. I think. You're going to see a lot more um, products that are really support, you know, 4K. Yeah, and talk about what you guys are doing um, before we get into, you know, we'll make it simple. We'll walk everybody through kind of how to use uh, Switchboard Live, how to use Joycaster if they want to go to multiple platforms and the advantages of, of, of which platforms and things like that. But you, you guys actually have... Um, a new product coming out and uh, you, you're unveiling some of the details, I believe at, at, at NAB. Tell us what, yeah. what you guys are, are working on. Yeah. So Joycaster is our, our product. That's obviously been a little over two years now. That was our first that we, uh, um, you know, put together, you know, we have, you know, various people out there that are using them. And, you know, one of the things as, as an entrepreneur and building a product for the first time, um, a heck of a lot, right? right? It's you know from feedback that we didn't think about, you know, re um, and so, but we kept track of all those things, you know, whiteboard of all these features, and so we always knew the need to really go and and um, to build upon that. And so one of the things that we did is um, a funny story is like we have these requests. Our CTO Josh, I'm like, hey Josh. So so, you know, we, we want to, you know, our, our support these users. How can we? So he's like, well, what we should have done, right, is like API, right? And so because with an API, it, it gives us the ability to create and build on top of that, you know, um, you know, breaking something or, 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 or having, you know, an impact on something else. So that's what we did for those eight months. We've been working on building. API 
And, and what we did then was, well, we built the next version of our product on top of our own API. So essentially the product of our own platform. And by, um, we have two things. One, we have an API that people can use and they can leverage our platform to build an app. Um, Switchboard Cloud is the, it's our next iteration um, of all, you know, a grown up version of, of Joycat. Support workflows and multiple ingestion. It's, it's really the, the, base, the basis for the things that we have on the roadmap that will help um, support just the workflows of, of life. I, we actually, today that we, you know, I've shown that and, and it's, in a, it's in a beta right now. So I'll we'll, um, have people and get them to sign up and is it and, and check it out because we want some of the you know and but um but yeah you know we're we're super excited something we're working a lot on you know the team's been really focused on that it's 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 about time and it's it's going to be um a, a game changer we believe in just what we're doing especially okay. if coming from Joycaster. Right. Congratulations on, on, on the launch of that. Um, I, I would say that most people in our audience are, are solo creators or small business creators, and Joycaster is probably going to be the, the product that they're going to be looking at, at using. Um, talk about, you know, what are the advantages of streaming to multiple platforms and, and how Joycaster enables you to do that fairly easily? Yeah. So, I mean, the, 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 Think about I, I kind of since we have you know some time to kind of give you the the background you know Joycast is essentially built as a tool right it's a tool that enables so to to go to more than one destination and and for us you know the the idea or the the question hey, I have this stream and I don't want to have to have you know multiple um computer right or, or or have a beefy enough machine that can to, you know, location A and location B. Or maybe my bandwidth, right? You know, my home internet can work that. And so you got to think internet speeds have over the years. But that's where, that, that's where the idea, I have this audience here. Um, and this here, how can I, you know, serve both of those? Or how can I? You know, I have a, a consistent audience over here, but this I want to tell my already existing audience. Hey, hey Rudy, your your sound yeah. is, is breaking up a lot. Um, do you want to um, refresh and then um, what I'll do is I'll stay on. You refresh sure. and choose a lower – check your settings. Um, I don't know if you're on 720, maybe drop down to 540 or whatever if you're – you know, maybe okay, drop do down that. a little bit. Maybe it's too much bandwidth. And here we are. Uh, can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine, yeah. Okay, so um, I don't know how much people heard, uh, but I'm going to uh, go back and, and give you the opportunity to just kind of pick it up maybe from the beginning or, sure. or whatever. And, and how, do I, how do I sound now? Is it, is it a little now bit better? You sound, you sound great so far. Okay, awesome. So sorry about that. I, I was getting no. more zealous here. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> let me repeat that, right? Yeah. Um, so the, the idea, uh, you know, really for, for Droidcaster started out where, um, you know, you know, for any type of streamer, right? And you have an audience that may exist in, you know, multiple platforms, right? Um, and without um, changing the current workflow, our goal was to make that process really easy so that we can empower that live content creator to be able to grow their audience, right? So you... You know, part of the scenario could be, hey, I have an audience that exists on platform A, and I want to test out platform B. 
here's a way where I can, you know, do that without alienating my initial audience, right? So that's that's one scenario. Another scenario is just like what we experienced just now. Obviously, my machine or the internet connection I have in this hotel isn't good enough to, to handle streaming the high bit rate. But imagine if I were trying to go to, you know, you know, be live in another platform, that would have been a terrible experience, right? And so that's where, you know, we, we're creating that, that opportunity where you can send one, you know, stream to right. one destination and leverage our platform to, to be able to push it out to all the various destinations. And so that's, that right there is like the technical workflow, right? right. That's just, you know, eliminating the multiple laptops or multiple encoders or beef machines, right? That's, 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 that's kind of like phase one. But then when you start thinking about the ability to, you know, one of the benefits of live streaming is engaging, right? Being able to engage and connect and have discoverability. And I think that's really the power of being able to put live content where people are already watching it, right? right. So if there's people watching and looking for, you know, maybe you're a crafter, or maybe you're a blogger about this or a podcaster talking about this subject, and there's niches that have community there. Here's a way where you're able to to tap into those audiences and see what works. You know, um, I'm not saying you need to be on 50 because that you know logic <laughs> doesn't make sense. But there, you know, being able to have you know your content in in the locations where it makes sense so people can tune in and watch it and then grow your audience. Um, just like hey, when the, when the president, you know, does the State of the Union, he's on every channel, right? right so right. why not, why not do something like that similarly for, for you know, the creator? Now, because um, for live stream broadcasts, um, the engaging with the chat is such a big part of it. Do you recommend yeah. that um, people try and manage multiple chats, or do you more recommend like go to multiple places, but then let people know? If you want to join us, you know, join our live chat, come to Facebook or come to YouTube or, you know, if you want to be a guest on the show, visit this platform and let us like do you use the other platforms to drive people to one main one or do you try and manage two or three chats at, at once? That's that's a point. And um, we actually so. Right. The people that. Joycast or a heck of a days were actually gamers. So think right. about a, a, someone playing a game, right? I'm playing a game. Um, you know, people are watching. Can I can't, you know, like, right? So what we added early on is we added support for YouTube, for um, Hitbox, for um, there's like of the, of the earlier platforms. Most of them were gamers. So that you as within Joy, we pull the messages in to one view. So live stream, you can see Rudy on, you know, on YouTube and you can see, you know, raw comments, the answer back. And, and so that's been something that we have support for now. Now you brought up a good point, you know, now that there is Facebook and there are a pair of these platforms, we need to, and a hundred percent that's something that's on our roadmap well, to do that supports there. So that's another thing that's part of it, right? Is you know, from a technology standpoint, how um grab those messages and comments. You, right. Because some of that stuff available for standpoint. Um but to 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 answer your question, technology, I, I totally I totally agree with you. That uh, that having the ability to manage you know, you know, it would probably be a challenge. And if if that is something that's really a part of your show, then keeping it simple and slowing it down probably does make makes uh, keeping it to a you know small amount of channels in the beginning. So um, for people for people who um, are just getting started or want to get started with Joycaster, um, you you have a couple of different pricing plans, and you're working on a, a, a new plan, I believe, or you just released a, a new plan. Can you tell us what you're yeah. what you're doing with yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So we made some changes and of these slow slow rollouts, right? So we put things out, and we will wait and see if we get. And so um, about to go, maybe. 
maybe about two months ago, eh, maybe about 45 days ago, we, we, we updated our packages because what we realized is an a la carte pricing, you know, prior to that, where you could sign up for the, for the service for, for the free service. Um, and then when you're ready, you can, um, and, um, you know, pay for what you need. Right. So it was like 10 bucks. If you wanted to go to, you know, this destination to ingest. So we had these kind of, you know, you know, pick and choose what you wanted to do. Realized is a lot of, um, or choosing the same recipe, all we're choosing type of features, and so our goal is easy for you know people to sign up and just check out and then get. So what we've done is we've kind of simplified that and identified that people want to go to five destinations. They need a customer on you know what type of destination they may need to go to. And so we've created a package where now it's, um, um, you know, free. You still have the 30-day free. In fact, in part of the free package, you can actually stream to Periscope um, with no problems. Uh, support the video. So it, it you know, it's, it's uh, compliant for Periscope producer. I mean, you can push to other platforms as well. And that's in our free tier. And then once you're ready, you know, to, you know, portable individual 25 and the five missions and, and part of that, it, uh, um, custom destination as well. So, and, and so, so now we want to make sure that, um, we, you know, we add the support and, and some onboarding stuff to make it really easy for people to understand that too. So your, your audio is still breaking up some. Um, I actually, while you were talking, went off and um, dropped my video quality down some more, um, but it didn't seem to, uh, to to make a difference. Do you want to try and refresh one more time and lower the quality again if you can and see if that So uh, I guess I'm back. I'm not sure if Rudy is back or not. Um, Rudy, can you hear us? Okay. Uh, Rudy, you may need to uh, refresh again. Gang, if you can hear me, do please throw something in the chat to uh, let me know. We apologize for uh, some technical difficulties. And uh, we do have Rudy back. We're going to try it one more time and see if we can make this work. Hey, uh, so um, can you, you can hear me okay now, right? Hey, Ross, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound good. Um, it always, it's a little deceptive because it always starts to sound good again and then it breaks off somewhere. Uh, so we'll just try and try and pick it up from yeah, here. I believe, I believe Kevin, I, Kevin, I believe you're right. It must be the hotel. Um. Sucks. I had, I, although I had the same issue when I was on with um, Kathy on her show. Uh, what was it about a week ago? I think so. So anyway, you're watching live stream stars. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope we can uh, make the audio work. If not, uh, we'll we'll bring Rudy back uh, another time if he can do it and uh, talk more about Joycaster and uh, Switchboard Cloud and. Uh, live streaming to multiple platforms. Uh, just a reminder while uh, we're getting set up, uh, we do have the Never Settle show uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday night on the Entrepreneur Facebook page. I will be live 
uh, on the Never Settle Show Facebook page with the pre-show from the red carpet at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. So do join us for that, facebook.com slash Never Settle Show at 5.30 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday and then 7 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Kathy Hackle joins me for Ask the Expert. We'll be talking all about VR and AR and getting her thoughts on the latest developments in those areas. And so we're talking. If you're just joining us, we're going to we're going to give it a best shot. <laughs> Rudy J. Ellis is the guest. He's from Switchboard Live, Joycaster, and talking about uh, the advantages of going to multiple platforms, pricing uh, of Joycaster. So now, now there's two. If I got what you're saying, uh, there's two different ways to do it, right? You can do the the free version, which lets you go to a couple platforms, three Correct. platforms, and then there's a paid version that gives you many more uh, options and uh, more robust uh, version. And that one's twenty five dollars a month. Correct. Yeah. So what that what that allows you to do is go up to a maximum of, of five destinations, and then you also have the ability to add on, um, you know, uh, I believe up to three um, custom destinations. So if if there's you know some type of you know media server or a destination that you know we may not have um, an API or integration with, you can still support those. Um, and and we just found that based off of data, right? Looking at signups, looking at the the types of uh, users that were on, on board, um, and so we wanted to make it easy and create a package that right. that um, that resembled that. So, real quick, Ross, how does how does this sound? Uh, hopefully, so far so good since we've been back. So. All right, I'm, I, I made a a little switch here, so I did the old switch rule. So we'll see if okay. uh, this works. Well, oh. so far, so far we're doing good. Um, awesome. Make it easy for us if I want to get started. Um, how what is the process to to sign up to you know get my first broadcast going send it to a couple of uh platforms and um take advantage first of the 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 free uh the Got free it. side you know we probably should do one time and i didn't think about it you know one when we when we scheduled this i forgot that i'd be at an ab right this was done so <laughs> long ago right from a scheduling standpoint but next time when i'm back in my office or or at least at home Maybe we could do a, um, you know, kind of a, a walkthrough, right, where I could really show, yeah. walk someone through it so they can understand it. But, you know, just to kind of talk through it. So think about, you know, if you're going to stream to YouTube or you're going to stream to Facebook now, you, you set up your encoder, right? It's some, you know, software, Wirecast, OBS, Mimo, you know, Live, whatever you're using, right? That same piece of software is still, in, in you know, necessary. Or if you're, you know, using a piece of hardware, you know, whether you're using a, an external encoder, um, you're going to plug in um, some information to send that stream to, whether it's, again, Facebook or YouTube. So instead of doing that, you're going to send that now to Joycaster. Um, and, um, and to do that is you go to switchboard.live slash, um, I believe, creator. Um, and right on that page, you have, you're have presented with, hey, you know, sign up, um, start your free trial. Um, once you click through that, there's a, a quick form on the right-hand side. Um, you can log, you know, fill, it, fill out that quick form. And once you do that, you now, you're now logged into your Joycaster account. And um, the three things that you need to go live within Joycaster, um, you need video. So in the upper left-hand corner, that's your confidence monitor. So your encoder is going to send video into our platform. And once you see video there, you know that you have the connection, right? So that's step one. Step two are the three boxes that are kind of in the middle. So you have your um, title, your category, and your summary. Um, title is obviously pretty self-explanatory. That's going to be your title. That's going to be used for your stream. The category, um, again, when we first built this, this was resembling a lot of the, um, um, the workflow of YouTube because at the time, that was probably the one that was really you know, big and in that space when we when we built this and a lot of people were using it there was no facebook there was no periscope so we, we kind of resembled a lot of that workflow so that category really maps to youtube um and then also if you're a gamer um you choose gaming you, you're able to input your game and, and then i'll allow you to, to have your your game name show up on the gaming platforms and then lastly you dump in a description and so those are the three th the, the the three fields that you need to fill out um 
And then the third piece is the destinations, right? So what destinations make sense? What destinations do you want to stream through? Um, and on the left-hand side, you'll see a list of all the different destinations that are pretty popular that people are using. But at the bottom of that, there's actually a list that will show you all the destinations that you can choose from. I mean, there's a there's a full gambit of them from, you know, watch people code to, um, you know, some some music ones. So we, you know, as we were building this, we were adding support for, for you know, various types of destinations. So you as a streamer, you pick your destination that makes sense. And um, and that's it. So you have video coming in, you have the, the three metadata fields, and then you have your destinations. And you can either do one of two things. You can schedule that event for a later date. So we, we have this, this notion where if you do a weekly show like you do, right, or if you right. have, you know, multiple shows and you kind of want to just have your organization in place and have your title and description and all that, you have the ability to do that. Um, and you can schedule that and, and then go live when necessary. Or if you are running into technical issues and you need to go live fast, right, <laughs> or, you, or you need to start live, you can just put those information, those fields in, and then go live. And, and, and then um, – and what we'll do behind the scene is we, not we, but the platform, you know, what it does behind the scene is it goes and it creates that event. It takes the description and title and it puts that into the event. It starts the event. It does all of that, you know, heavy lifting. You know, that's the, the secret sauce behind the scenes. And, um, and then you're live. Now your, your, your content is seen uh, across the different destinations that, that you plugged in. And so... I mean, it's, it's tough to, you know, kind of just visualize that, but really five minutes. I mean, right. and if, you, if you're streaming now, it's, it's, it should feel as, as, as simple as, as you going live as you would you know, normally anyway. So you, you may have addressed this before, but with the audio issues, um, I'll throw the question up because I know a few people had it. Barb asked, um, didn't Joycaster become Switchboard Live? Can you explain Joycaster and Switchboard yes, Live in the yeah. name? yeah. So um, I'll, I'll give you the, the full story, right? So, um, so Joycaster was the name of the company as well as it is the product that's in market now. Um, and the, the quick you know, background with Joycaster. So the idea is, you know, you're, you're a creator, right? Just like yourself, Ross, right? You, you have a passion for what you're doing. So you're creating this, you know, live universe show and that's your joy, right? And so right, right. you're casting that so everyone can see it. So that was the idea. It's joy caster. Whatever your content is, that's your joy. And the play on the the spelling, it's you know. So for me, it's you know, this is this is my baby. This is something that you know I, I started, and, and now we have a team that's you know taken this idea and we've expanded upon it. And so the J O I, that's actually my daughter's middle name. It's Joy. It's spelled that oh, way. Okay. So that's where for me, this is starting a company, and it's a, you know, it's a family thing, right? right? right. So. So that that's where Joycaster really, you know, evolved from. But we had the awesome opportunity to go and live in San Antonio for four months, right? And this was um, <laughs> November of twenty. What year? This twenty. This was November of twenty fifteen, and we left in February. And so we were, we went through what's called an accelerator. It was an accelerator to to basically take our idea, and um, you know, accelerate us to 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 prove some of the assumptions, to get to that point faster. Really, it was like, you know, a mini MBA, just crash course. So, you know, the team, we moved out there. We went through this program. And a part of that was um, we were really challenged to really identify what is the what is the benefit of Joycaster, right? We, we understand you guys are great technologists. You have this great product. It, it does these wonderful things. But how does it benefit people like you, Ross? How does it benefit you know, um, you know, users and, and people that are using the platform. Um, and so once we took a hard look at that and we realized what we're doing, we wanted a name that was, you know, um, indicative of that. And so that's where we went through this crazy process of thinking of all these names. And um, the winner was Switchboard, right? Because we're plugging you into all these various destinations and you're live. And so that's what came about. And so when we left that, um, that, that program, that accelerator, we rebranded. And so Joycaster in market to date is the product. Mm -hmm. Switchboard.live is the URL. Switchboard Live is the company. Um, and we, we know that it's been it's, it's taking a little longer than we want to, but we're, we're slowly starting to work on 
you know, cohesive branding and it's, it's going to get better. So um, trust me, I, I hear it all the time. Switchboard, right. Joycaster, SBL, right. you know, I've, I've heard all different variations. And so it's up to us to fix that. And, and we will, it's, it's so many, so many hours in a day and so many things that we could do, but so the, the audio, by the way, is great. So um, no, not you didn't break up one time on that whole thing. So uh, Thank you. we're, we're you going. You, you want to know what I did? I would love to know what you did because it's not I the first time ditched, I've, I've encountered this. I ditched the crappy hotel Internet and I'm tethered to my phone. Oh, OK. <laughs> so OK, so it is the hotel because you know what? Even though I figured 99 percent chance because I'm wired in and everything, I yeah. kept, I kept clutching like every wire here as you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it's not something on my. Head. No, no, it's it's probably the you know I, it's I so need much to demand like on the hotel Wi-Fi that the little drops and things. I think probably what's what was doing it. Yeah. So um, so people definitely share this out. Um, and if you have any questions for Rudy about using Joycaster about streaming to multiple platforms forms uh anything you'd like to know about the product that you know whether you're using it or you're thinking of using it um definitely throw a comment in the chat i can see the comments uh coming through again and we'll be happy to get your questions on uh in fact should should we get really should we get really crazy with this now? just do it man. <laughs> what, what else could go wrong right yeah, I mean, in fact, <laughs> if people want to want to come in and uh, join us and ask their question live, uh, cool. I'm just going to pull right up here and get the uh, get the link. Uh, copying this is, this the link is actually my first time. This is actually my first time participating in a BeLive.tv platform. I, I know Jeff Adams is a you know big proponent of it, and I, I see his weekly shows and. And also, you know, um, Rachel as well. Now I'm doing that, so it's um, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, this is this is a cool interface they have here. So I just put a link in the chat. It's a very long link, but it's the I think it just shortened. But uh, trust me, click that link and it'll take you there. Um, it just says uh, under live stream universe uh, in the chat. It just says uh, you know starts the link on Facebook. I didn't put any text in there. But that's the one. If you want to join us, uh, you're welcome to jump in. Uh, you'll come into a lobby section, and and we're using the beta version of Be Live TV's uh, talk show uh, platform, which now will enable me to bring a third person in who can actually cool. ask their question live. So uh, do check that out and uh, feel free to ask a question. And do let me know if you're not seeing that link and I will do my best to share it again. So, so I'm curious. Uh, I just want to know because, you yeah. know, obviously I get I, I get a thrill of this. So when you say you posted a link in the chat, is it just a Facebook chat or is there another interface that, you know, being and be live that people see? So uh, as a guest, you don't see this, but if you were to host and be live TV, you would actually see the comments from Facebook coming up. Gotcha. In the interface. <laughs> See, I'm getting all choked up about it. It's such a great feature. So I don't actually have to have two browsers open. But awesome. in this one, I actually threw it right into uh, the browser. And I believe it worked because we have uh, Cheval, who's going to join us in just a second from, I assume, from out in Houston. Hey, Cheval. Hey, guys. How are you all doing? Hey, how's it going, Cheval? This is pretty cool. Doing good. Thanks, guys. Doing great. So, uh, do you have a question about Joycaster? Yeah, uh, how would you uh, do use multi-stream without, you know, with breaching a breach of you? Like, say, if you're like with Facebook, you have to have, you can't like breach, uh, you know, term of use, you know, and then, you know, so. You mean you? Let me make sure I understand. So you're saying like uh, the, the ability to stream to Facebook and uh, in other destinations. Yeah, without breaching of a uh, term of use, without a platform. Yeah, I mean, and, and so that's that's always obviously a slippery slope, right? For us as being a, a partner, right? So we, you know, all the platforms that we support, we, you know, we as um, um, you know, good partners, we have to support their terms and services as well, right? And so, what well, our goal is is to put the best technology out there in the field, you know, for you guys to leverage to 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 do your you know various workflows. Um, you know, and so, you know, there's no, you know, implicit, 
you know, work around that I could tell you to do or, you know, and that's not really, you know, our position on that because, you know, if, if it was the other way around, I want people to, 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 to follow and abide by our T's and C's as well. So, so as a partner, you know, we have, we abide by, you know, all the, all the, um, the, um, the regulations and, and nuances that they put in pace because, um, you know, if you, if you look at it, the ability to go to multiple Facebook pages, maybe that's something where, mm -hmm. you know, that could be a benefit for you. And you're definitely able to do that within our platform. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that's something where, you know, maybe at some point down the road, they may change or they may reevaluate. But for us as a platform, our goal is to make it, um, you know, easy for you to go to your different destinations and give you the tool set to, to do what you need to do best. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Yuval. Great to see you. Great to see Take you guys, care. too. So um, I guess the, the link went out there, so that's great. I, I love this. This is the first time I, I believe that we've brought a, a question on on Livestream Stars from a guest, uh, probably back since the Blab days, or at least since we were using Fire Talk. Uh, wow. So that's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So if yeah. anybody else wants to jump on, just check out the link in the chat. Look at this. We have an old friend and former guest on the show. I think she was on. A couple times, once on this and once on a spotlight feature, and I, you know her well, cool. hey, Rachel. Rachel Moore. What's going on, Rachel? Uh uh, can't hear you. How about this? There oh. you go. Okay, sorry. See, it wasn't you, Ross. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> yes. I think you have to go back to your your broadcast that you did earlier and remind people that they actually have to put the mic in front of them. Just buying it and putting him on the stand isn't enough. Wait, like I can't just throw my voice over there? I know. I know. Here. I, I am the I am the constant exhibit of what not to do. Let's just put that up there. <laughs> By the way, before you ask your question, where did you come off with the crazy idea that I had a blue yeti? I don't know. I don't know. I just I know I'd gone to you for questions about microphones and for whatever reason Yeti got thrown into my brain and so it's still I, uh, there's no explaining what goes on in here. Because right. the mic I'm using is actually pretty much the exact same mic as the one you're using. It's slightly different, but that's why like, we have probably the same <laughs> basic setup, same uh, windscreen, yeah. same arm. So. Uh, so this leads to the part where for live streams, you guys do your research and speak truth. Oh, no. And no. then it'll work. <laughs> Just say whatever comes to mind. Just say Yeti, Ross, and whatever. <laughs> so what's your, what's your question for Rudy? Well, um, and this kind of drives to how easy it is. Now, I, I think this it's nice to have be talking about this on an easy platform like Be Live. Mm -hmm. how easy it is to grab um, authorization from another person's profile to be yeah. able to stream it out. Can you um, talk us through how that works? I've been on the receiving end of it. It's incredibly easy to like get That's permission. From good point. Yeah. So um, I, we really appreciate that. And um, that came about where I, I'm trying to think of the event where I just knew there was probably like four or five, you know, um, influencers. Right. And, and part of the conversation was, yeah, we, we're going to stream to their page. They'll just give us their username and password. I'm like, yeah, that, that's definitely not going to happen, right? No. <laughs> and then it's the, all right, well, who's the manager? Who can do this? Who can manage their account, right? And so that can, that right there could be a, a big email and change. And so what we created is a, um, it's a feature called Stream Share. And just like when you're adding your own YouTube channel, your own Facebook channel, I could send you a, a request, Ross, and you, Rachel, and say, hey, you know what? My live stream on Saturday, I want to go live to your channel as well as your channel, Ross, and you're receiving an email. And by way of clicking, just accepting that email, you go through the wizard on your side. And then now I have the ability to start a stream as if it was my own channel, but now it's going to publish on your platform. Yeah. It's going to publish on your channel and it's going to appear to your audience as if Rachel went live or as Ross went live. And so now your, your subscribers will get notified that you went live and of course you're authorized it because the content I'm creating makes sense for you. You have an, you, you care about what, you know, what I'm doing. And so it's a great way to really expand, you know, your community or whatever, whatever the subject matter may be. Um, and then we've, we've seen people leverage that for conferences where you have, you know, different speakers coming up and they want maybe just their segment, you know, stream to their page. So by, by making a stream share request, 
And then with Enjoycast, they're starting and stopping the publishing to their channel. Mm -hmm. You've made that really easy for them just to go up there and speak, you know, and we've seen um, and, and uh, people leverage that for, for licensing, right? You know, hey, I can, you know, I have a great show and you want to carry this on your Facebook page because, you know, the biggest thing is you can post videos and people will go watch it, but it's, it's really awesome to be able to have live content. And yeah. Yeah, live content makes sense for your audience. Here's a great way to extend that. And so, so stream share is, is a big feature that, you know, honestly, we don't talk much, talk it up enough. And I appreciate you bringing that up. So yeah, it's, it's a great feature. Um, and so, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. I, uh, just, and then for everybody wonder, wondering too, we did this actually, we used this for our birthday, our let's live stream birthday. Yeah. Was that last week or the week before? Uh, blurring, blurring the lines. <laughs> Um, but, uh, it was so cool. Cause yeah, I actually had Vitmug, you know, they asked like Jen Nelson, uh, I just got an email from her. It says, click this. She wants authorization. I clicked a button, took me to this really cool screen and explained what was about to happen, that it yep. was a short term authorization. So it's not like forever in case oh, anyone's point. wondering. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> then I had a big green box to accept or a big red box to decline. And yep. as long, then I just clicked. And as long as I was signed in, you know, in my browser on that, that profile, it went away and it was like, sweet. That was really cool. Yeah, and then cool. and then the you know Vitmug team had a new destination in their you know in their library destinations, and they just add it and they can go live. You can actually do that whole process um, while you're live. Like it's I've I've um, there was an event we we were participating with. It was actually a Gibson Gibson wow. guitar brand event out at the Gibson showroom in in Beverly Hills, and they had four bands. And normally that happens where the bands want it streamed to their page. But then once they realize it, like, well, can it stream to my individual beat? So then I had the drummer, the guitarist, the lead vocalist. So <laughs> it went from, you know, just the bands to each individual person. And it was, it was actually cool that that happened, you know, on the spot right there, you know, and That's sending cool. out these emails. So it's, it's different ways that people can leverage technology that makes it really cool, especially in the live streaming space. Cool. That's Thanks, awesome. Rudy. Thanks, Rachel. Great question. Take care. <laughs> Good night. So I, I guess um, I want to ask you a question from from the chat, which I Go think is, is really interesting. Kevin Black asks, um, saw an infographic uh, about many live streaming platforms there are in the USA versus Asia as an example. Um, are you seeing uh, growth in Asia? And I know that China's kind of blowing up as far as live streaming goes, but yeah. it's different. It's different platforms. Yeah, we, um, you know, I'm going to be honest, we, we haven't done a great job of, you know, um, branching out, right? Um, I, I remember reading something probably recently, there's like over a hundred different, like just live streaming apps in China alone. Wow. And, and, and they're probably, you know, I think we're pretty, you know, advanced in technology, but the, the, just the platforms that are out there, I think, you know, are leaps and bounds. And we, we haven't done that. But We've um we've had some conversations. There are a couple platforms that we're going to add support for coming pretty soon. So the localization, the language barrier, those are right. things that that we we have to you know account for. And so that's one of the reasons why it's it's a little challenging for us. But you're absolutely right. Um, I mean, there the, the it's probably a ten to one. I think it, it, um, just amount of platforms that are that that are accessible here that that are um that are in um you know Asia and China and so forth. Right, so right. Our, our goal is, is is to have support, at least for the major ones, you know, the YouTubes of, of China, you know, for that matter. And uh, Barb asks about streaming to YouTube live without entering the RTMP manually. Yeah. So you can you can do both. So we have we have support for both. So, you know, the most easiest way is is you, you hear the term API. Right. And And I, you know, I may throw that around a lot, but. Basically, what that is is it's it's the connection so that um, you know our our program talks to Facebook's program and all the information, all the the stream details, all that stuff. It's it's done you know um, you know automatic. So you as the um, the um, the streamer, you don't have to worry about that. And so if that is part of your workflow, I highly recommend. Yeah, definitely using the the Facebook API connection, and that's just a little wizard, right? It's just you're gonna you're gonna click add destination. You type in your name. It'll prompt you to log into your Facebook page, and then you'll come back in the Joycaster, and it'll actually show you a list of the channels that are supported. So your personal page, as well as pages that you're that you're a part of. 
Um, the ones we don't support, we don't support a group page right now, but that's something that we, we have on our, our roadmap. But at least for your personal page and pages, um, what is it called? I think it's your fan page. I think that's the other one. We support that, right? We just don't support groups right now. Um, and and part of that was, you know, you know Facebook is they, they're throwing so many cool new features, right? And so right. for us, we want to kind of make sure that, you know, things don't change, right? So you kind of want things to kind of bake a little bit, get, you know, get some wear and tear on it before we go and, you know, implement it. And so that's, that's, that's been an approach that we've taken with a lot of new features. But, um, but yeah, Facebook, the Facebook connection, the YouTube connections, Periscope connection, like how easy is that? You know, you could go live, um, it automatically converts it to the right format. And in fact, mm -hmm. it even now auto tweets to your Twitter page. So nice. you could go live and then have it automatically go to your Twitter page and people are alerted, you know, that you're live and come and watch your, your Periscope broadcast. And so those are the, that's the power of that API connection. Um, because, you know, custom RTMP, that's just, you know, that's just a destination. There's, there's no really connection there. There's no, you know, good way to, to grab the data, the metrics and, and so forth. So if you can go that route, that's the best way to do it. You know, go, go through the connection. Let's talk about mobile. Is it possible um, to stream to multiple platforms from a mobile device? Oh, sure. Most definitely. Um, in fact, well, you know, at the show floor today, so, um, you know, one of the good apps that, you know, we, we see a lot of people use this is Switcher Studio, right? So that's a mm -hmm. mobile app that, right. um, that people, you know, talking to Nick and, and, you know, our goal is to, to kind of make things a little bit more, you know, you know, integrated. So that's, that's a, that is something that you know we want to continue you know progressing towards. But that's an app. There's different apps out there that you can you know download and use. And 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 really, it's it's that encoding app. That's that's really mm -hmm. what is is being used. So whether it's a mobile uh, mobile encoding app, whether it's a piece of software on your laptop, whether it's again a, a big you know piece of hardware, that's still going to always be the same. You need some type of an encoder that you're going to point to. I'm losing your audio, Rudy. Uh, just when we got to oh. encoders, uh, I, I think I can hear. Um, be able to, we'll be able to hear you again. You were saying so when you go from mobile to uh, to Joycaster, you need a, an encoder to go from mobile to Joycaster, or Joycaster can serve as the encoder. No, you, you, yeah. Hopefully, this comes in good. You definitely need an encoder, right? So, in, okay. in, for any type of live streaming, you're going to need an encoder on the app did we lose me it looks like i think we lost me we, we can i can hear you now um, okay I, I had lost you before too so i think we're all we're all lined up again okay yeah so um just to recap um you always need an encoder right mm -hmm. so you always need that encoder whether it's uh, an encoder on your um your mobile phone or your laptop computer um or a piece of hardware so that that's always going to be necessary um, and then what you're doing is you're configuring that encoder to send to, you know, Joycaster. So Joycaster, think of it as, as just a destination. So if you were going right. to stream to Facebook, you have to put some information into your encoder. So right. you're doing the exact same thing. So, and that's part of it. We want to make sure that that workflow is, is the same as if you were streaming to the destination. And in fact, that's why we're partners with these platforms because they, they support what we're doing because um, they want to make sure that content is getting to their platforms in, right. in the right manner. And we're, if you think about it, we're actually you know, doing them a favor. Because if you were just streaming to YouTube and you're able to have your video show up on you know, Periscope, you're bringing content that otherwise would not exist on Periscope to Periscope. So now it's, it's more content that's on their platform. And, and so that's a benefit to them. You know? So so. So we're actually we're actually helping them out, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right? So you let's say I'm I want to go to Periscope and YouTube, right? And I have a mobile phone. I'm doing a mobile broadcast. Yeah. Um, do I do? What do I do? Like, just walk me through the process of I got my mobile phone here. I want I'm going to start a, a show in a few minutes, and I want to go to YouTube and Periscope. Okay. Um, now, obviously, yeah. I can't go directly to YouTube unless I have a certain number of subscribers, subscribers and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if you use a separate encoder or other things, there's way there's workarounds that they let you do. Yeah. Um, 
So, so, so are you guys, first of all, are you guys one of those workarounds that they allow? And secondly, how do, how would I do that then if I wanted to, to, to do that as a workaround? The question just got deeper. It wasn't that deep originally, but we just, well, I, I think the thing is, it's not necessarily, I don't mean, I wouldn't classify it as a workaround. It's just mm -hmm. that you're using your, your phone as your encoder and it's just okay. a mobile encoder, right? Um, what, the the provision that YouTube has in place is just using their app to go to their platform, right? And right. so um, it's it's still your app, right? It's I mean it's still your channel, so you still have that control there. Um, but the the cleanest easiest way would be whatever um, encoding app you know makes sense for you, whether it's you know Switcher Studio or um, I think um, you know Live uh, what is it Live on Air? I think Teradek makes one. Um, there's a couple freebies out there. Um, I mean, I could probably find and we can post it later. There's a couple of freebie, um, you know, just RTMP encoder apps that need Wirecast Go, I think, goes to Wirecast you. Wirecast Go, there you go. Yep, there you go. There's another one. So there, there's some, you know, it's probably it's probably five to, to eight good mm -hmm. apps that you can just go download right now. You can use your phone. Um, I actually have one. I can't think of a name. I think it's called Bitstreaming. I, I just came across these guys. And, and you know, I'm, I'm a tinkerer, so I try things right. out. And it works really well. Um um, and so those are, there's a couple of them out there and, um, what you would do is you would configure that app to point to your Joycaster account. And then within Joycaster, you go live to your, to your Periscope and your YouTube. So it's, it's no different than you doing it on your desktop computer. It's just, you're using a different device or encoder. That's, that's really it. And now you mobile. Right. You can go go places. Right. Right. So instead of, say, using Wirecast or something like that on your computer, you could be using Switcher Studio or you could be using yeah. um, another app like that. And then you use that to send it to Joycaster first. Yep. Sending yeah. it. Yep. And you know, what? In, in fact, it's, it's interesting because I, I, I um, there was a, a call I was on and um, I never even really I guess when you think about it, a mobile app or you think about it, an app on your phone. To me, this is this was just me, maybe my revelation. Right. But when I have an app on my phone, I think that that's mobile, so it means I need to be out and about. But you know, a lot of times, you know, Wirecast and OBS and and some of these other platforms, these encoding software, they may be too much, right? You know, right. you as a user, you may not necessarily need all of that or or get that. And so, having your phone with an app. You know, on a tripod or one of those mounts, you know, that may be all that you need to do whatever type of streaming you need to do. And so, you know, Switch Studio is a great product and they have, you know, limited production you know, or some, some production value there. Or you just need a basic, you know, camera. So, so those are – it didn't dawn on me to that, you know, I don't want to use OBS or I don't have a need for the, all that stuff that's in there because it's it, – you know, it's, it may be overwhelming. And so right. um, keeping it simple, right? The old right. Kiss, kiss method. So – did you get into or become interested in um, live streaming first and then come up with the product because you saw a need or did you come up with the product first and then go, okay, now I got to play around with some live streaming and develop a passion for it? Um, so I, I've been a live streaming for probably over 10 years. Um, I worked at company, my company before this was called XOS Digital. I worked at a company called New Lion. XOS Technologies, and at those companies, my responsibility was I had a team, and what we were responsible for were college um, streaming events. So you think of the horn, you know, the Cornhuskers or Oregon Ducks, you know, some of those properties. My team was responsible for making sure that those events went off. So women, you know, the stuff that wasn't televised. So you know, there's there were times where we did you know twenty thousand live events in one year. Um, and I, you know, if we want to kind of go back, I started back in the, um, the windows media days, like the 320 by 240 little, small little window. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and I've seen the evolution. And so to answer your question, it, it's, it's, I've always had that kind of, you know, um, interest in just, in, in that space, you know, managing the, the workflow, managing coders. And, and I just, you know, was blessed to have the opportunity to kind of be presented with, um, is it possible to go to this website and this website at the same right. time? And then me want to say, I'm pretty sure that's possible. Let me figure that out. And so that's, that's what really what happened. And, um, it was a kind of a hack, you know, job that I, I did for, 
for a buddy of mine and and um, it worked right and so a hundred home events were done this way and and then about a year later that's really when it clicked that that date when it was like well you know what if it worked for him it, this could be something <laughs> where this there could be an an, an application here you know right. because you know there you know there's these big behemoths that, you know that are out there and some people are using you know platforms that are really specific to what they're streaming and why not make it so that your content can be seen everywhere? And so that's that's really what started started it in been and, on this path since. And then how did you get involved with Techstars? I assume that's what you were referring to when you mentioned the accelerator. Yes. In, okay. So how, how did you get involved with that? I know that's like really selective and they only I mean, that's a great honor to be to be picked for that. Yeah, that was that was actually amazing. I mean, when like the very first day, so we're, you know, we're there. This was like in, again in November. And there were probably, um, I think the number was 1,100 applicants, and it was 10 companies. So it was like 1% gets into this thing, right? Right. Um, and, and I think what, you know, what they look for is, you know, obviously there has to do, there's a little bit of traction. Mm -hmm. You know, the team makes sense. Um, but it, it, was, it, was, it was an awesome experience for us. Um, and it, I mean, I, I applied and it was just rounds of different interviews, right? It was that my very first kind of screening interview was like this, where we were just talking to like the right. managing director and so forth. Um, and, and for us as a team, I think it allowed us to, to really bond. Because <laughs> think about it, it's, we're, we're eating, we're sleeping, we're, every, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a family affair, you know. We're away from our families out here, and and so it allowed us to accomplish a heck of a lot. And and um and then you're around nine other companies that are doing the exact same thing from all different you know different right. you know um, um industries. And so um so that so so that is you know TechStars is is a great program. It has you know great networking. Um I we we have monthly CEO meetings where the the CEOs will will still do like a kind of like this type of um um. A webinar and we'll right. pitch ideas or talk about stuff. It's it's a it's in a fantastic network, um, and it, it's world it's global, right? And then one of the big things that they do every year it's called um, Founders Con. It's an event where they have invite all the founders to get there um, to this to the city, and it's programming. It's they do a biz development day, so you know we we have the opportunity to sit down with people from like GoPro and. Um, you know, different um, NBC and, and really give you an opportunity to put your product in and in, in really understand it from a um, from a, uh, an enterprise or, you know, you know four to five hundred company. So, so these are these are the, the ways that um, these accelerators are, are really helping, you know, you to, to get an idea, you know, to to go out there and prove the model you know, a lot faster. Um, and then be a support system because there's a heck of a lot of things that, you know, I didn't know that we didn't know just by, you know, starting a business because you may, you, you, is, as great as your product is, <laughs> if no one knows about it, you know, um, is it really a good product, right? Right, right. No, that's, that's amazing. And, you know, one of the, the ways that, that I really like kind of your product came to my attention was that really serious people who've been doing live streaming for a while before it was called live streaming and doing different kinds of video online shows and stuff. We're, we're always mentioning, okay, what I do to distribute is I go to Joycaster and Joycaster then sends it to you know, awesome. all the different locations. So um, you guys really have an awesome reputation and uh, I really appreciate you taking time to come on. Uh, from out at NAB, and I uh, hope you enjoy the the rest of the conference. And uh, maybe we could do this again another time uh, when <laughs> when we got everything lined up. I maybe you're back you. home, or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it yeah. was great having you on and and uh, answering different questions. And um, if you can hang on a minute, uh, I'll chat with you as soon as we we go off for a second, and then you can you can take off. You got it, man. All right. Uh, thanks, Ross. Thanks for having me. It's good. Yeah. good. Thanks for the questions. Thanks so much. So that's uh, Rudy J. Ellis. Look them up. Switchboard.live online. Switchboard.live is the company. Thanks so much, everyone, for sticking with us. I know we had a little technical difficulties, but we we made it through the hour and uh, some great information from Rudy. Again, 
I want to remind you to join us. Wednesday night is the Never Settle Show. I will be doing the red carpet at 5.30 p.m. Eastern on the Never Settle Show Facebook page, facebook.com slash Never Settle Show. And then Mario Armstrong goes live uh, with the main event at 7 p.m. Eastern, and that's on the Entrepreneur Magazine Facebook page, facebook.com slash Entrepreneur uh, magazine. And then Thursday night, we'll be back with Ask the Expert. Kathy Hackle will be here to talk all about VR, AR, and answer your questions 7 p.m. Eastern, rossbrand.live. So thanks everyone for joining. Sorry I didn't get a chance to uh, welcome everyone here. We were we were struggling along a little bit there, but I, I appreciate everybody who joined, who's been commenting, asking questions, and sharing it out. And uh, we will see you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.